Hello, and welcome to Hold an Evening Prayer from Trinity Lutheran Church in Mason City, Iowa. I'm Pastor Kevin Jones. Advent is a season of waiting and watching. It is a season of light shining in the ever longer darkness of night. Advent is a season of hope, a season where we are reminded that God is at work preparing right now to fulfill promises that are not here yet. Our Advent theme this year is practicing hope with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. Each week in this service, we will use our devotional material to guide the reflections provided by members of Trinity staff. If you would like a copy of the Advent devotions, you can pick one up during regular weekday business offers just outside Trinity's East Entrance. You can also download a copy or sign up for daily emails to be sent to your inbox by following the link on our website, www.trinity-mc.org. Hold an Evening Prayer was written and composed by Marty Haugen for Holden Village. It is patterned after traditional Vesper services and is filled with the images of prayer and light and hope, sung in twilight and approaching darkness. Hold an evening prayer centers around the Magnificat, Mary's jubilant response to the news that God is at work fulfilling the promise of a Messiah to whom she would give birth. I think you will find Hold an Evening Prayer to be a relaxing, meditative, thoughtful worship experience. Thank you to our musicians, Molly Garretts, Micah and Sarah Bowski, and Dr. Matt Gender. And to those leading our reflections each of these weeks, Pastor Ga Kathy Graves, Pastor Dan Garretts, our parish nurse Becky Ellsburn, and myself. We pray that you are blessed by this Advent worship. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine with you. Show. 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. A reading from 2 Peter 3. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. I took my car to Walmart recently to have the battery replaced. It hadn't been starting well, and I wasn't sure I could get into my own mechanic on short notice. So I was back at the auto center, and the service tech there gave it a quick once-over, and then he told me it'd take about 30 minutes to replace the battery. You can wait here, he said, pointed at a line of chairs against the hallway wall. Or you can do some shopping, he told me. We'll call your name over the intercom when it's ready. I said, really? You can do that? Maybe with a little too much enthusiasm in my voice. Yeah, the tech said. He wasn't quite sure, I think, if I was making fun of him or if I was just that slow. Why don't you keep your phone handy, too, he said. That way we can call you if you don't hear the announcement over the intercom. Well, I've always been the kind of person uh, who likes to wander in stores. I can spend well over an hour in Menards just walking around looking at stuff. Ace Hardware is like a playground to me. So it only took about 10 minutes of weight shopping at Walmart. And I had some new wiper blades for my car. I had an air freshener. I even had a turkey sandwich from Subway. For real. <laughs> I found plenty to do while waiting. You know, those Walmart people, they really know what they're doing, right? Advent is the season of waiting. We're waiting for Christmas. We're commemorating the Old Testament, longing for Messiah, for deliverance, for God's salvation. The, Christmas, the Christian witness is that Jesus is the fulfillment of generations of waiting for God to move. Waiting. Waiting is something with which we can all resonate, especially this year. We have waited so much for normalcy, to see our families, to gather in groups, for a vaccine, or any sign that this pandemic is going to end. All the talk in scripture of waiting for God and waiting with hope sounds different this year. St. Thomas Aquinas once wrote that there are two kinds of waiting. Waiting with patience and waiting with longanimity. Waiting with patience, he said, is when we focus on the difficulties and just try to endure them. Patience, he said, steadies the soul, helps us bear our hardships with persistence. It's like a mother responding calmly to the tantrums of her toddler over and over again. It's patience. Longanimity, Aquinas said, though, is directing the soul towards a good, something for which we can yearn, even if it's going to take a while for it to come. Longanimity is waiting with hope. It's clinging to a promise that isn't yet here, but knowing that it's coming. Just like you can look at the, the dawn during the night and, and know that the sun is going to rise. This kind of waiting not only guards us against despair, but it, it really takes seriously the fact that we, we all have unanswered prayers, I think. We all have longings. Some of us are waiting for healing. Some of us are waiting to secure a job or maybe pay a debt. Some of us may be just waiting for the holidays to be over, while others of us just are looking for God to show up in our lives in some palpable, real way. Waiting is hard. 
Well, sometimes we have to wait with patience. We have to just focus on the hard stuff and get through it. There are other times that we can find strength in the simple promise that all of our longings and all of our hurts will soon be set right. God has come among us, died and rose again in Jesus Christ, and one day this God will come again to renew and restore everything that is broken. In the meantime, Second Peter says, there's no time to waste. Live a holy life. Hope while you wait. Care for the poor. Seek out the lonely. Be generous with the gifts that God has given you. And find strength in waiting with others. Now, sometimes the best gift that we can share is a listening ear and a caring heart to someone else. Waiting is hard, but there is plenty we can do while we are waiting. We can trust in God's care today, tomorrow, and at the end of all days. And we can trust that even while we wait, God waits with us, whether we are filled with hope or whether we are at the end of our rope. God waits with us. In Jesus' name, amen. An angel went to God, to a child called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. Praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever life for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. Amen. As we conclude our service, I encourage you to share the peace of the Lord with those around you. If you are so inclined, Trace the sign of the cross on each other's foreheads or in the air over each other. Or send a text or a short prayer of peace to those that you cannot be with right now. The peace of Christ be with you always. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. <laughs>